Welcome to Community High School in Fort Kent. I'm Joel Desjardins reporting for Channel 4 as the Warriors get ready to take on the Madawaska Owls. And the Owls make their entrance into the gymnasium. I'm filling in for Dana and Christy Plore tonight. And we'd like to start off by thanking Dana and Christy for coming to record all these Warrior games for Channel 4's audience. As the Warriors have been astronomical this year, have a 12 and 3 record heading into this game against Madawaska. A big important game coming up Friday night for Fort Kent against the Hodgson Hawks. So they can ill afford to lose this one. I'm sure they, it, this game here is worth more to Madawaska. A win over Fort Kent for the Owls could propel Madawaska into that coveted eighth spot for the Class C tournament. The Madawaska Owls currently are 11th place in Class C with a record of nine and seven. We had a pretty exciting JV match before this game as the Fort Kent Warrior JV team of coach Lauren Gee defeated the Madawaska JVs by a score of 52 to 49. We'll now listen in on the CHS Warrior Band. just heard the community high school band under the directorship of Steve Vonderhyde. Teams are warming up. We've got about 10 minutes here before the start of the ball game. First meeting between these two teams in Madawaska, Fort Kent came out on top, but it was a much closer game than they anticipated. 
So it, it's possible that these Madawaska Owls could give the Warriors a game here tonight. They certainly have the incentive. A victory could send them to Bangor. The Warriors, on the other hand, are currently in third place in Class B and would like to stay there. We'll listen in on the CHS band some more. Community High School Ben, uh, while we got time before game time, we're going to go through the players for the Fort Kent Warriors. Ryan Martin, first of all, with the seniors Ryan Martin, Corey Thibodeau, Matt Thibodeau, Jason Netto, Chad Tardy, Eric Raymond, and Mike Pelletier. Juniors on the Warrior team are Lucas Slavet, Jason Stett, Tyler Berthium. Brad Saucier and Burt Raymond, and the lone sophomore on the Fort Kent Warrior team, John Lozier. For the Madawaska Owls, seniors, Ed, Edward Marshall, Randy Burgoyne, Ben Hassel, Jeff Cowie, Jesse Bollier, juniors, Ryan Sear, Mark Bard, Nick Guyon, and D. Sear. Sophomores, Ben Desjardins, Luke Pennington, and Sean Pelletier. Coach of the Madawaska Owls is Robert Plourd. Assistant coach, Tim Doak. And I'm not going to compete with the band over here. We're going to listen to another selection. Five minutes to go before the start, start of the game. The captains are meeting at center court. For the Madawaska Owls, who are 11th place, they are currently with 41 tournament index points. Fort Ken is worth 22.65 on the point index, so it could 
move them up. Cathadden is the number eight team in the Class C tournament. Standings in Class C, number one, Naragoigas, number two, Matawaka, number three, Skank, number four, Hodgden, which Fort Kent will meet Friday night. Number five, Woodland, number six, George Stevens, number seven, Penquist, and number eight, Cathadden. Nine, Washington Academy, number 10, Sumner, and then 11, num number 11, Matawaska. We'll give you the Class B standings in just a moment. Class B standings released in today's Bangor Daily News. Number one, the Mount Desert Island Trojans with a record of 13 and three. Number two, the Rockland Tigers, 15 and one. Number three, the Fort Kent Warriors, 12 and three. Fourth place, Camden Rockport's Windjammers with a record of 10 and six. Number five, the John Baps Crusaders, 12 and four. Number six, the Arno Red Riots, 11 and five. Number seven, the Stearns Minutemen, nine and seven. And number eight, the Bucksport Golden Bucks with a record of eight and eight. So if the tournament were held today, Fort Kent would be playing the Arno Red Riots. But that can change. We still got one more week left to play before the Warriors head to Bangor for the Class B tournament. Now we'll listen in to the band a little bit more. Well, they stopped when I said that. <laughs> Fort Kent, Friday night, will take on, like I said, the Hodgden Hawks. Hodgden, 12-2 and two in fourth place, so that game will mean something to them as well. So both teams are going to be playing hard. Channel 4 will not be at that Hodgden game, but the, the game will be held on Channel X radio and on Channel 19 on the cable. the buzzer folks and we're going to listen in to Vice Principal Bob Stett as he gives us the starting lineups for both teams. Thank you. 
first of all, there's a car in the parking lot wanting to either fill a roof pedal that needs to be moved. So if you could please do that. Secondly, on Monday night, February 12th, in Kirbo at 8 o'clock, the Fort Kent boys will defend their Class BC championship for Aroostook County. Again, that game will be played Monday night, February 12th, at 8 o'clock at Kirbo High School. Mr. Murphy, come forward, please. Larry Murphy, head coach of the Fort Kent Warriors. Uh, being at the last home game of the season, I'd like to take a minute to do a couple of things. One, we'd like to thank the fans that have been loud and loyal and traveling to many of the courts that we play on making those sports seem like we're playing at home. And I know that when we're playing with that kind of support, it always gives you that extra boost of energy when times get tough. And I know the boys appreciate what you do too. So from myself and from the team, thanks a lot for all that loyal support. Second task is we have a small token, a small gift for the parents of the, the 10 seniors we have on the team, three managers and seven players. And we hope that uh, you wear it proud uh, come February 16th or 17th. First of all, Sherry Campagnon.
Well, you just heard the starting lineup for Madawaska. And listen to this for Fort Kent. Tardy, the player that Dana Plord Christian, the spark plug. First one out. Jason Neto. Matt Thibodeau. Corey Thibodeau. And Ryan Martin. A lot of emotion in here tonight as the Warriors. A lot of these, these seniors are in their final home, regular season home game. Fort Kent, 12 and three. Set to go against Madawaska, nine and seven. Here's our national anthem. High School. Madawaska out on the floor. Marshall, Burgoyne, Hassel, Sear, and Pennington. Fort Kent, Martin, Thibodeau, Thibodeau, Neto, and Tardy. Matt Thibodeau set to jump against Ben Hassel. And the tap controlled by Ryan Martin charges towards the basket, turns around, puts it up, and good! Ryan Martin starts it off. Two to nothing, Fort Kent, Madawaska with the ball, Burgoyne, Fort Kent pressing. Burgoyne, look at the pass, almost stolen away, no! Fort Kent almost had the steal. We got a foul call on Fort Kent's going to take the ball out. Jason Neto, long bomb, no good rebound. Madawaska. Gals with the ball. This is Lolt Pennington. Almost tied up by Ma Chad Tardy, tying him up. Mr. Hustle. The ball will go over to Madawaska. That was not a foul a while ago. That was a jump ball. Fort Kent had it. Madawaska with the ball. Ryan Sear. This is Burgoyne with it. Now to Marshall. Marshall. On the left side in the center. Up and no good. And good. By number five. Here's a shot up and no good by Corey Thibodeau. Rebound Madawaska. Luke Pennington with the rebound. This is Burgoyne with it. 
Marshall, I mean. Marshall, long shot, up, no good. Corey Kibitel with the rebound. Nice bounce pass by Brian Martin. Underneath to Tardy, ball goes out of bounds, last touch, Owls. It'll be Fort Kent ball, just underway, two to two to score. Chad Tardy, inbounds, Ryan Martin, long three. No good off the rim, rebound Matawaska. Ed Marshall, coming down court, stop, shoots, and hits a three point shot. And the Owls lead five to two. This is Tardy with it, almost had it stolen away, ball goes out of bounds. We're going to see what the call is. It's, it's Fort Kent's ball. The Matawaska player let that go out of bounds. Chad Tardy over to Corey Thibodeau. Stop. Shoots. No good, but we got a foul. We got a foul call. On number 22, Ryan Sear, Matawaska. First foul of the ball game. 628 left here in the first quarter. Fort Kent trails 5-2. The game means a lot to both teams. Fort Kent's already in the tournament. This could put Matawaska in it, so Fort Kent will have to play hard. Corey's foul shot's good. Nice shot by Corey, makes it five to three. Corey's second shot is no good. Rebounded by Fort Kent, Thibodeau. Out, back now to Ryan Martin. Long, three-point shot, good! Ryan Martin hits a three. And the Warriors lead six to five. The Owls with the ball, this is Burgoyne. Bothered by the Fort Kent press, pass is intercepted. Corey Thibodeau to Ryan Martin, out and good! Ryan Martin with another quick shot and it's eight to five, Fort Kent. Their press is bothering Matawaska. Marshall with it for the Owls, takes it across the mid-court line. Here's a shot, no, he passed it to number 15. Hassel, who missed it, rebounded by Fort Kent. Ryan Martin over to Chad Tardy, now Corey Thibodeau, stop, shoots, hits! Nice bank shot by Corey Thibodeau, 10 to five. And the Warriors with eight straight points here. Matawaska with the ball. This is Ryan Sear over to Marshall. Marshall with it out now to Hassel. Underneath, no good. But we got a foul call on Matt Thibodeau. The coach is, and the team and the crowd don't agree with that call. So we're gonna see Ben Hassel on the line for Matawaska. Shot is good, 10 to six. Fort Kent by four. Hassel's next shot, no good. Ball goes out to Matawaska. Shot, no, we're going with the ball. Look at the pass. Being bothered by the press, and we've got a call. A violation. Three seconds on. Matawasa, Fort Kent will have the ball out of bounds. Brian Martin. Taking the ball in for Fort Kent. Brian pauses, passes off to Corey. Underneath, Chad Tardy, yes! Chad Tardy going in for the... Nice pass from Corey Thibodeau. Almost stolen away by Ryan Martin. He's called for the foul on Randy Burgoyne. First foul on Ryan, second foul on Fort Kent. The Warriors lead 12 to 6. 447 left here in the first quarter. Randy Burgoyne passes now to Hassel. As they, and taken away by Chad Tardy. Up and go. No good. Didn't want to fall in. Nice steal by Tardy. Ryan Martin, no good. Rebound, Thibodeau turns around up. Good, and he's fouled. 
no basket, he's called for traveling. I don't agree with that one. Not a popular call here as Thibodeau. Ball, baskets taken away from Fort Kent. It remains 12 to six Warriors. This is Randy Burgoyne with the ball in the lane. Tried to go to Hassel, taken away by the Warriors. Chad Tardy all alone. 14 to six, Fort Kent by eight. Madawaska bothered by the Fort Kent pressure and he loses it. <laughs> Things are going Fort Kent's way right now as Madawaska calls timeout. With timeout on the floor of the score, the Fort Kent Warriors 14, the Madawaska Owls 6. Madawaska needing to make some adjustments to their game as the Fort Kent press and is really, really contributing to their misfortunes here tonight as they're not getting under there. Fort Kent back on the court, Madawaska. Coming back out, it'll be a Fort Kent ball. No, Madawaska ball. 14 to 6. Fort Kent, Madawaska. This is Ryan Sear. Look at the handoff to Burgoyne. Burgoyne. To Marshall. Marshall pops and no good. Rebounded by the Warriors. Matt Thibodeau. Ryan Martin to Corey. Corey. Taken away from him by Randy Burgoyne. Burgoyne coming down. Ball goes back to Burgoyne on a tip and he gets shot in. Cuts the score, 14 to eight. Fort Kent by six. 3.17 left in the first quarter. Ryan Martin in the corner to Tardy underneath. Thibodeau, yes, Matt Thibodeau. 16 to eight, Warriors by eight. This is Burgoyne driving underneath. Ah, no good. Ball controlled by Jason Neto. Over to Ryan Martin. Martin taking the ball in for the Warriors. Over now to Neto. Takes a long three. No good. Taken down by the Madawaska Owls. Randy Burgoyne. Over to Ryan Sear. Back to Burgoyne. Burgoyne in the lane. Tried to go to Howie. Long shot, up and no good. Rebound, Madawaska, up, no good. Fought for and put in by Ben Hassel. Hassel makes it 16 to 10, Owls. Trail by six. Ryan Martin takes a long three-point shot. Off the mark, no good, taken down by Burgoyne. Randy Burgoyne. Back out now to Ryan Sear. Sear, shot. No good off the rim, rebound, Corey Thibodeau. Over now to Ryan Martin, to Chad Tardy. Tardy drives the lane, puts it up. Off the mark, no good. And the ball is tapped out of bounds by Chad Tardy as he was trying to get it back. Burgoyne inbounding now to Ed Marshall. Marshall taking it down court, being almost taken away by Chad Cardi. What a nice steal by Chad. Appreciated by the Fort Kent fans. This is Matt Thibodeau, turns around, puts it up, no good. Corey underneath, baseline, puts it up, and good. Corey Thibodeau, as the Warriors are not giving up. 18 to 10, eight point lead. Burgoyne, 114 left here in the first quarter. Fort Kent in control. Burgoyne back out now to Sear. He takes a shot, good, a three point shot by Ryan Sear. Makes it Fort Kent 18, Madawaska 13. With 54 seconds left. Tardy, 
Back out now to number 22. This is right up and good. Brad, Chad Tardy with a nice shot. Madawaska with the ball up and good by Ben Hassel. 20 to 15. Ryan Martin over now to Neto. Neto stop, shoots, no good. Jason Neto misses, ball goes out of bounds. It will remain for Kent Ball. And we got some substitutions. Coming into the game, Brad Sose and Eric Raymond for the Warriors. Eric Raymond inbounds to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau back out now to Ryan Martin. Ryan shoots. No good. Rebound. Brad Sose blocked by Matawaska Howell. And the bass is intercepted by Fort Kent. Neto with the ball over now to... Up and no good. And tapped in underneath. Brad Sose hits the ball. Brad Sose at the buzzer. Puts it in for Fort Kent and the Warriors lead by seven after one period. The score, Fort Kent 22, Madawaska 15. I'm going to lose my voice. You'll have to come up. <laughs> Back underway here at Fort Kent Community High School. Madawaska and Fort Kent with the Warriors in the lead. 22-15. We're going with the ball for Madawaska. Just opening the second quarter play here at Community High School. This is Sear, over back to Burgoyne. Hands off now to Ed Marshall. Marshall underneath to Hassel, uh, and no good, we got a foul call on Corey Thibodeau. Powell's trying to work the ball underneath to Hassel. And they haven't done it too much in this game so far. Edward Marshall on the line for Madawaska. Gets the first shot. 22 to 16, Fort Kent. <coughs> Second shot by Marshall's good. 22, 17. Gets the two shots. Brian Martin in the corner to Neto. Back out to Martin. Martin. Outside the three-point line. It's Corey Thibodeau. Corey stops. Shoots. No good. Taken down by Matawaska. Saved in bound by Ryan Sear. This is Marshall underneath. Hassel up. Good. Ben Hassel, the 6-2 player for Matawaska, makes it 22-19. Brad Sosie back out now to Ryan Martin. Now Neto. Jason Neto back to Ryan Martin. Handing off to Corey Thibodeau. Corey trying to get underneath, drive the lane. We got a foul call on Luke Pennington, I believe. Fort Ken will take the ball out of bounds. The foul was on Edward Marshall, number four. Corey Thibodeau stops. No good, Ryan. Up and good by Eric Raymond. Raymond makes the score 24-19, Fort Kent. Warriors. And Matawaska throws the ball out of bounds and the Warriors will take over. Matt Thibodeau. Coming back into the ball game. Corey Thibodeau gets a rest. Six forty-one left in the first half. Ryan Martin, ball tapped out of bounds by Matawaska. Eric Raymond inbounding to Ryan Martin. Martin to Raymond in the corner, takes a long three-point shot, in and out. Nice shot by Eric Raymond. 
Shot up and no good by Madawaska. Zed Marshall pulled down by the Warriors. This is Brad Sosi quickly underneath finds the lane. No good. Blocked by Madawaska. Madawaska controlling. Sear back now with the ball. Takes a long three point shot and hits. And Larry Murphy. No, there's no timeout call. It's 24 to 22 as the Owls have closed in on the Warriors with 6.01 left here in the first half. <laughs> Both teams fighting hard. Ryan Martin in the corner to Raymond. Raymond underneath Thibodeau, Matt Thibodeau. Now to Jason Net. Brad Sosie underneath, turns around, no good. Pulled down by Matawaska's Ryan Sear. Pass intercepted by Brad Sosie over to Chad Tardy. Tardy. Over now, Brad, up good, Brad Sosier. Good, good work there by the Warriors. 26-22 as they have a four point lead. This is Ryan Sear. Over now to Pennington. Now to Marshall. Marshall, stop, shoot, block. We got a foul call on Chad Tardy. First foul on Chad Tardy. Fourth foul on Fort Kent. So Ed Marshall will be on the line again with 5.13. Left here in the first half. Warriors 26, Owls 22. Marshall hits the first one. Back in the game, Corey Thibodeau, Brad Sosie comes out. Good work by Brad while he was in there. Second shot off the rim, no good. He was shooting a three, so he's gonna have three foul shots. Twenty-six, twenty-three, Fort Kent by three. Here's the foul shot, is up, good. 26-24, Warriors by two. Ryan Martin, bounce pass, Eric Raymond, long shot, no good, Raymond. Just missing off the rim. Matawaska trying to get to Sear, and it's tapped out of bounds by Corey Thibodeau. Powells are trying to work the ball to Ryan Sear. This is Ed Marshall inbounding the ball. For the Owls, Cowie in the game for Matawaska. Shot up and no good and a foul call. As Ed Marshall takes a three point shot. And we're gonna see Ed Marshall on the foul line again. And he won't, we won't see Ed Marshall on the foul line as he takes the ball out of bounds. That was the second foul on Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau with two fouls. Ryan Martin with one, Tardy with one, and Matt Thibodeau with one. Underneath, this is Sear, turns around, puts it up. We got a tie game, brand new ball game. Fort Kent, 26, Matawaska, 26. Ryan Martin in the corner now to Raymond, back to Martin. Martin pauses over to Corey Thibodeau. Chad Tardy in the corner, now with the ball. Hands off to Corey Thibodeau. This is a long shot by Ryan Martin. Now to Bounds and the Warriors. Lose control, they'll go over to Matawaska. Four minutes, 23 seconds left in the half. We get a tie ball game. Brad Sosie coming back into the game. Corey T Thibodeau sitting down. Fort Kent with a full man to man defense. Madawaska, Cowie underneath, Marshall loses it, pulled away by Brad Sosie. Fort Kent with the ball. Jason Neto back out now to <coughs> Tardy. This is Ryan Martin with it. Martin over to Matt. Matt Thibodeau, Matt Thibodeau baseline, puts it up. 
It was blocked by Madawaska. They got the ball. Pull it down. This is Cowie. Jeff Cowie with it. Over to Ryan Sear. Sear back out now to Pennington. Sear in the lane underneath. Pennington up. Good and his foul. And the Madawaska Owls have suddenly pulled ahead of the Fort Kent Warriors 28 to 26. Foul is on Matt Thibodeau, his second. And we got a timeout call by Larry Murphy as coach Bob Plord's Madawaska Owls lead by two. 328 left here in the first half. The score, Madawaska 28, Fort Kent 26. Coach Murphy giving instructions to his players. Fort Kent, big game Friday night at Hodgson. And as I was saying a while ago, the game will be carried by Channel X Radio. So if you want to hear the game live, tune into that station and you'll catch the Warriors Friday night from Hodgson. But at the moment, we're concerned with Madawaska as the Warriors trail by two and are looking to get back into this game. Well, they're in it. They're looking to get back ahead. Luke Pennington, foul shot, no good, pulled down by Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau to Ryan Martin. Ryan quickly crosses midcourt, in the lane, puts it up, and good, Ryan Martin. 28-28, we got a tie game. This is Marshall. Being guarded by Chad Tardy. Marshall, trying to penetrate. Passes out, intercepted, Brad Sosie. Brad handing off to Ryan Martin. Martin in the lane, puts it up, and no good. We got a ball out of bounds, last touch for Kent. He'll go over to Madawaska. 2.54 left here in the half. Cowie inbounds the ball, having a hard time. Can't do it. And the Warriors will take over. 28-28. Chad Tardy, inbounds to Neto. Back out to Ryan Martin. Martin pauses. Over at the top of the circle, now Brad Sosie. Sosie back out to Jason Neto. Underneath to Matt Thibodeau. Matt, baseline up, good, Matt Thibodeau. With a power drive for Fort Kent, 30, 28. Cowie with the ball for the Madawaska Owls as Fort Kent regains the lead. This is Sear, back out now. Cowie taken away by Chad Tardy. Tardy drives, no good. Oh, he took a spill. Tardy on the floor. Hopefully he's all right. Tardy hitting hard on the floor. I don't know if he lost his footing, but hopefully he's gonna get back up here. Nice steal by Chad. Went up for the shot. And boy, does he sits up and gets a nice hand from the Warrior. Pins. <laughs> Got to be the hardest worker on this team. They all work hard, but Chad Tardy, for some reason, he just stands out there. Listen to this for Chad Tardy. Lucas Levet into the game for Chad. And he shakes it off. And Lucas will let Chad take his foul shot. Chad Tardy. There's 
no way he's going to come out of this game. The Warriors lead by two. 2.22 left here in the first half. Mr. Hustle on the foul line. with his foul shots. First one is good. Tardy second shot. Off the mark, no good. Ball tapped out of bounds. And they call it off of Fort Kent. Caribou ref calls it off of Fort Kent. And the Owls retain control. This is Sear with it. Taking the ball cross court. Over now to Hassel. Taken away by Matt Thibodeau. Good defense, Matt. To Ryan Martin. Martin with the ball in the lane. Penetrates underneath. Up and good by Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau deserved to score that one. He had nice defensive move to steal the ball for Fort Kent. This is Sear. Fort Kent leading by five. Cowie over now to Marshall. Marshall, top of the circle, in top, shoots. No good, taken down by Ryan Martin. Martin with the ball, spins, shoots. We got a foul. travel call on Ryan Martin. Matawaska inbounding the ball. Jeff Cowie over to Sear. Back to Cowie. Cowie being guarded by. Here's a long bomb up and good by Ed Marshall. And that cuts the Fort Kent lead to two. Fort Kent 33, Matawaska 31. Jason Netto, long bomb, good! Jason Netto hits the three, 36-31. And Matawaska having trouble now. This is Pennington over now to Sear. Sear, a long three-point shot. Off the mark, no good. Tapped around, pulled down by Pennington. Spins, puts it up, out of bounds. Fort Kent, 36. Matawaska, 31. 54 seconds left in the first half. Here at Community High School. Ryan Martin. Over to Jason Neto, long three, no good in and out. If he can hit those in Bangor, we got him made. Marshall, long three, good, and Marshall. The threes are keeping Matawaska in this game. 36-34, Fort Kent leading by two, Ryan Martin. Over to Lucas Lebec, Lebec to Associate. Thibodeau, Matt, to the basket, bang. 38-34, Matt Thibodeau playing a heck of a first half. 16 seconds left. Sear with it. Matawaska, 10 seconds left. They're gonna go for the last shot. Sear in the lane, up and no good. Pulled down by Fort Kent, so sad. And that is how the first half will end. With the score, the Fort Kent Warriors, 38. The Matawaska Owls, 34. We'll be back shortly for the second half of play. We're listening to the Unity High School Band.
This is the project graduation 50-50 raffle draw held at each meeting. Nine, five, four, three, nine. Find out if you're a lucky winner. Five, three, nine. And we have ourselves a little winner here.
back on the way in the second half of play. Fort Kent losing the ball out of bounds. That was the Fort Kent Community High School band. Excellent group. Madawaska with the ball. Taken away by Chad Tardy. Nice steal by Tardy as he takes it away from Burgoyne. This is Corey Thibodeau in the lane. Up and no good. Rebound Matt Thibodeau. Up good. Nice shot by Matt as he continues to score. 40 to 34. Fort Kent up by six. Half a minute into the second half here. This is Madawaska. Sear up. No good. Rebound. Fort Kent. Corey Matt Ryan Martin with the ball. And we got a foul call on Ryan Sear. Ryan Martin. Inbounding the ball for Fort Kent. Over to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau in the corner. Penetrates, puts it up. No good off the rebound, Madawaska, as they get the ball. This is Edward Marshall with it. Over to Sear, to Pennington. Foul call on Matt Thibodeau. And that's Matt Thibodeau's third foul. Matt's the only player in foul trouble for the Warriors. Corey Thibodeau has two. Matt Thibodeau coming out. He's going to take a rest as Brad Socia comes in. Marshall. Over now to Hassel. This is Sear. Stop. Shoots. Off the mark, Ryan Martin with the ball down to Brad Sosie, who has it. Corey Thibodeau underneath, and he scores, and he's foul. Nice move. Corey Thibodeau going to be on the foul line. 43-34, Fort Kent pulling away here in the second half. Shots good by Corey. Makes it 43-34, Fort Kent up by nine now. Burgoyne taking the ball down for Matawaska. He breaks the defense. Passes off now to Ryan Sear. Sear pauses. Underneath, Hassel up, good. I mean, Ed Marshall, that was Ed Marshall. Taking the pass, 43-36, shot, no good by Neto. We got a foul call. Fouls on Pennington, that's his first foul. Fort Kent, 43, Madawaska, 36, with 625 left here in the third quarter. Chad Tardy, over now to Ryan Martin. Martin. Circling. Stop. Shoots. No good. Rebounded by Corey Thibodeau. Saves it in. Up and good by Neto. Jason Neto. 45-36. Fort Kent by nine. They're not giving up. Madawaska with the ball. Sear. Over now to Burgoyne. Back to Marshall. He stopped. Shoots. It's long. Three point shot. Off the mark. No good. Corey Thibodeau with the ball. Pass to Ryan Martin. Stop. Shoots. Hit. Banks it off the glass. And Ryan Martin puts Fort Kent up by 11. 47 36. This is Marshall with the ball from Madawaska. Over now to Sear. In the lane. Burgoyne stripped away from him. Warriors have the ball. Jason Neto, cross court. Ryan Martin, long three point shot. Off the mark, no good. Chad Tardy. Yes! And Coach Bob Plord looking to call timeout, and he gets it. As the Madawaska Owls need to talk. As the Warriors have pulled away to a 13 point lead here with 5.04 left in the third quarter. Chad Tardy playing an excellent ball game. 
In fact, all the Warriors are. This is a game they need to win, and then hopefully they'll be able to get by the Hodgson Hawks on Friday. Fort Kent rated number three right now in Class B. If the tournament were today, they'd play Orono. And the higher the rating, supposedly the easier the, easier the game, but the top eight teams in Class B are all tough. Rockland with a 15 and one record is certainly gonna be a team to deal with in that Class B tournament. Fort Kent up by 13. Marshall inbounds to Burgoyne. Burgoyne in the lane. Out of bounds on Fort Kent, Brad Sosa. He was looking to go to Hassel and did not connect. Pass to Hassel. Hassel in the lane, up and no good. Pulled down by Corey Thibodeau. Long down court pass, Brad Sosa, fake shoots. Does not connect and he fouls Luke Pennington. First foul on Brad Sosa. Eighth foul on Fort Kent overall. And the ball goes out of bounds. Burgoyne loses it. Fort Kent will take over underneath their own basket. Ryan Martin to Corey Thibodeau. Now Jason back to Ryan. Long three-point shot from the corner. In and out. Brad Sosia taken away from him. And we got a foul. Out of bounds call. They'll go over to Madawaska. Burgoyne, look at the inbounds. Fort Ken with the man-to-man -man defense. Sear as they break the press and the ball goes out of bounds. Fort Ken's defense going to work again. Warriors 49, Owls 36. You can catch the Warriors in Bangor on February 16 or 17. That's when the Class B quarterfinals will be held. Long bomb, no good by Martin. Rebound up, good, Corey Thibodeau. 51-36. Ball's out of bounds. Last touch for Kent, Madawaska will have it. Burgoyne, handing off to Sear, back to Burgoyne. Randy Burgoyne with the ball for the Madawaska Owls. Stripped away, taken by Ryan Martin. Goes up, puts it in. No, does not get the basket, but he was fouled by Randy Burgoyne as he was going up. Ryan wanted the basket, but he's gonna get a chance on the foul line here. Fort Kent pulling away from this Madawaska team at the moment. Ryan shot, in and out. My cameraman tonight, Robbie Desjardin. Freshman here at Community High School. Ryan makes the second shot, 52-36. Taken away, Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau drives, puts it up. No good, rebound, Sosie, up. No good, we got a foul call on Hassel. Or that was Ryan Sear called for the foul. That's his third, third foul on Sear. He's the only owl in foul trouble. Coming into the game for Madawaska, Jeff Cowie. Burgoyne coming out. Brad Sosier on the line. First shot, no good. 52-36. Fort Kent up by 16. 3.55 to go in the third quarter. Second shot by Brad is good. 53-36, Fort Kent pulling away. Marshall taking the ball down for the Owls. 
Over now to Sear. Sear out to Kawi. Kawi back to Sear. Brian Sear over to Marshall. Thrown out of bounds. Fort Kent will take over. Chad Tardy with the ball. To Ryan Martin. Long pass. Jason Neto. No good. Rebound Brad. And he's blocked by Luke Pennington. Ryan Martin over to Corey Thibodeau. Quickly now to Tardy. Ryan back in the corner. Takes a shot. Up. No good. Sosia with the rebound and another foul. And this one's on Luke Pennington. That's Pennington's second foul. Madawaska right into this game in the first half. In fact, they actually led Mo for quite a good part of the game. But things have fallen apart here in the third quarter. Fort Kent a good second half team. Corey Thibodeau over to Ryan Martin. Martin pauses, drives, puts it up, and hits. Ryan Martin taken away by Chad Tardy. Back to Ryan. Up, good, and he's called for the offensive foul. Not a popular guy, that ref, right now. Because Ryan didn't seem to go in that hard. Ball pushed out of bounds. Last touch for Kent. The Warriors lead 55 to 36. That was Ryan's second foul. <laughs> Madawaska, Sear taken away, Brad Sosi. He loses it out of bounds and it's still Madawaska ball. The Warriors defense is just awesome tonight. They're playing a much better game than they did against Holton Saturday. This is Marshall. Hassel up. Not Hassel, that's Pennington with the shot. 55-38. Stolen away by Pennington. Over to Marshall. Up and good by Sear. Two quick baskets for the Owls. They have a lot to do. They trail by 15, Fort Kent 40, 55, Madawaska 40, 2.30 left here. Corey Thibodeau, turn, uh, and no good, he's foul. We're gonna see Corey Thibodeau on the line. Twenty left here in the third quarter. Corey Thibodeau's first foul shot. Is good. Fifty-six to forty. Four ten by sixteen. Corey second shot. No good. Pull down. Neto. Yes. Jason Neto on the offense about 58 to 40. Fort Kent by 18. This is Cowie. Handing off now to Sear. Almost taken away Tardy. Marshall taken away from him. Jump ball call. The referee calls a jump ball and it's Matawaska's ball. Good turnout here at Community High School. Taken away, Brad Sosie stepped on the line. Sosie stealing the ball for Fort Kent. Step, stepping on the line. Matawaska with it. Marshall over to Cowie. Cowie pausing back out in the corner. Marshall, long three point shot, good. Marshall hits the three, 58-43. Fort Kent by 15. Ryan Martin 
taken away by Madawaska. Sean Pelletier in the game, taken away by Fort Kent, Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau over to Ryan Martin and threw it away from Ryan as Ryan was going the other way and Madawaska will take over. 136 left in the third quarter. Fort Kent 58, Madawaska 43. Cowie over to Sear. Ryan Sear underneath. Ah, good by Pennington and he's foul by Jason Neto. 58-45, don't count Madawaska out yet. It looked like the Warriors were gonna put them away, but within the last two, three minutes, Madawaska's managed to get back into this. They trail by 13. This could cut it down to 12. No good, rebound, Brad P Sose. Over to Chad Tardy, back to Ryan Martin. Almost knocked one of their players at the pass. This is Neto. No, off the rim, no good. Pulled down by Matawaska. Sear with the ball, handing off now to Pennington. And a foul call on Fort Kent. Pennington with the power drive. He shouldered his way into Brad Sose. Referee saying Sose did not have position. But it was clear the Matawaska player ran right into him. We got a player down. 58 to 45. Fort Kent by 13. On the floor for Matawaska, Luke Pennington. One minute left in the third quarter of play. Larry Murphy going to take a minute to talk it over with his troops. The loss here could probably put Madawaska out of the Class C tournament picture. <laughs> County teams in the tournament, it looks like in Class A, Press Kyle, the Wildcats, whom Fort Kent beat twice this year, are rated eighth place. Caribou is currently in 10th place. Class B, the only team from the county is Fort Kent in the tournament. In Class C, we got Hodgden and Cathaddon in the tournament picture. Back to the action. He went out of bounds with it. Number 14, Sean Pelletier, Madawaska. Fort Kent takes over. 57 seconds left here. Ryan Martin. Pausing. Drives in the lane, goes up, and no good. Rebounded by Futmore. Hi, we got a jump ball. Fort Kent will have control. Line to Corey Thibodeau, Corey in the corner. Over to Eric Raymond, stops, and no good. Rebound, Madawaska. 35 seconds left. This is Sear, turns around, and no good. Rebound, Sean Pelletier, Madawaska. Takes it out to Marshall, Marshall pausing. Tried to go underneath to Hassel, and it's taken away by Corey Thibodeau. Eric Raymond now handing off to Ryan Martin. 12 seconds left, the Warriors are gonna go for the last shot. Ryan Martin with the ball. Trying to get in, shoots, no good. Rebound, Corey, yes, at the buzzer. Count it. The Warriors lead by 15 at the end of three quarters. The score, Fort Kent. 60, Madawaska, 45. We're gonna, we're gonna continue the tournament picture as I was telling you for the county teams.
Class D, Central Aristot, first place from the county. And Wisdom is right now nine, nine and eighth, and they're in seventh place. Ashland is in eighth, eighth place at a record of eight and eight. Washburn is in ninth. But the only two, three, two t county teams right now in Class A or B in the tournament picture are Fort Kent and Presque Isle. Well, we're back. Start the fourth quarter of play. Final home game here in Fort Kent. Madawaskas and Marshall has the ball. Takes a three-pointer. No good. Rebounded. Corey Thibodeau. Ryan over to Chad Tardy. Tardy with the ball. Handing back now to Ryan Martin. Fort Kent may slow it down a bit. They've got a good 15-point lead. Eric Raymond, long three-pointer, yes! Eric Raymond right on target, 63 to 45, Warriors by 18. This is Ryan Sear over in the corner to Sean Pelletier underneath. Tapped out of bounds by Fort Kent, Matt lost his ball. Seven minutes, 16 seconds left in the ball game. Fort Kent looking to go 13 and three. Shot up, no good by Sear, rebound. Ryan Martin, long down court pass, Tardy, yes! 65-45, Fort Kent by 20. Impressive game by the Warriors here tonight. Marshall, in the lane, turn, no good, doesn't get the roll, rebound Sear, no good. Eric Raymond with the rebound. Long pass to Tardy, behind the bat, up, no good. Traveling call, no basket. Nice ball movement by the Warriors in that series, and we got a no call. Long pass, no good. Number 22, Ryan Sear had a hand in his eye. We may get a uh, stoppage of play here on the floor as Ryan Sear got a hand in his face. <laughs> Coach Plord calling for the foul. No call was made. Fort Ken has the ball, 65-45. Thibodeau. Thibodeau handing off to Corey. Corey Thibodeau. Over to Ryan Martin. Ryan pausing. Back out to Eric Raymond. Another three. No, doesn't get it. Take it away, Chad Tardy. Turn around. No good. Rebound fought for. Foul on Corey Thibodeau. Corey's third foul. 6.04 left in the game. Warriors by 20. 65-45, Fort Kent. Inbound. Madawaska, this is Sear. Ryan Sear over to Cowie. Cowie with a long bomb, no good. Pulled down by Thibodeau. Matt Thibodeau, Fort Kent. Ryan over to Matt. Back to Ryan as the Warriors slow it down. Ryan back to Matt. 534 left in the ball game. Now Ryan Martin with the ball. Back now to Eric Raymond over to Ryan. Ryan to Corey. Corey turns around in the lane. No good. We got a foul call on Natawaska. Fouls on number 15, Hassel, his second foul. 521 left, and here's Chad Tardy taking a break in the game for Fort Kent, Tyler Berthume. On the line, 
Thibodeau. Ah, good. Corey makes it a Fort Kent lead of 21, 66-45. Thibodeau's second shot is good. Corey Thibodeau six, hits on both foul shots, 67-45. This is Marshall driving, shooting, scoring. All alone on that one, 67-47. Bengals by 20. I mean the Warriors by 20. I knew I'd do that. Speaking of the Bengals, their next game, February 13. UMPI comes to UM Fort Kent in a big game, big matchup. Ryan Martin for the Warriors, yes. 69-47. Twenty-two point Fort Kent lead. Four forty left in the fourth quarter here. Shot by Sear. Good. Clean shot. Six sixty-nine forty-nine. Fort Kent. Twenty point lead. Ryan Martin. Up and good. Martin hitting tonight. Seventy-one forty-nine. Up and good by Ben Hassel. Hadn't heard from him for a while. 71 51, 20 point lead. This is Corey Thibodeau turning around, shooting. No good. He'll get his own rebound. Puts it up. Block. Marshall with the block. This is underneath Pelletier. Up. Good. Sean Pelletier scoring, 71-53, 18-point Fort Kent lead. Not a lot of time left for Madawaska. Fort Kent should go 13-3. Baseline, Matt Thibodeau, foul call. On number 14, Sean Pelletier. Sean Pelletier's first foul. On the foul line again. The Warriors have been pretty good on the foul line tonight. Hopefully this will be the same way in the tournament. We hope to get a good crowd from Fort Kent and I, they always do at the Class B tournament in Bangor. Eric Raymond gets a nice hand, had some nice three-point shots, helped the Warriors out. Thibodeau makes a shot. It's 71-53, Warriors. Madawaska with the ball. This is De Sear. Sear over to Pelletier. Ah, no good. Rebound, Corey Thibodeau to Ryan Martin. Three minutes, 15 seconds left. Ryan, long three-pointer. No good, off the basket. Corey, yes. 73-53, 20-point Fort Kent lead. Warriors have maintained that 20 point lead that they got in the third quarter. We got a foul call on Fort Kent as Matawaska. Number 52, Matt Thibodeau. Call for the foul. Small power failure and we're back as we change batteries. Matt Thibodeau coming out of the game, got a good hand. What was his fourth foul? Ryan Sear makes them both for Madawaska. It's now Fort Kent 73, Madawaska 55. This is Lozier, John Lozier with a nice drive. Didn't get the drop. Madawaska with the ball. Pelletier. Back to Ryan Sear. Sear. Underneath Sean Pelletier. Looking to go up. Turns around. Up. Good. Sean Pelletier. 73-57. John Lozier taking the ball down court for the Warriors. Handing off to Fort Kent's Mike Pelletier in the game. Mike is a senior. Last regular season game for Mike. We've got a foul call on as Ryan Martin went up with the ball. 
Fort Kent, 73, Madawaska, 57. Coming out of the game is Sear for Madawaska, Ryan Sear. Mark Bard in the game for the Owls. Also out of the game for Madawaska, Sean Pelletier. Burgoyne's back in. Ryan connects on the first one. Fort Kent 74. Madawaska 57. Ryan with the shot, yes, 75, 57. Like to remind the audience, there won't be any more home games in Fort Kent, but at the high school, but the Bengals have a big game February 13th against the University of Maine at Presque Isle. Always a good rivalry, always a good crowd. Madawaska scoring 75-59. Ryan Martin, 7 p.m. game time at the UMFK Sports Center. I encourage the public to attend a Bengal game if you haven't seen one. Shot by Tyler Bertum, nice shot. 77-59, we got a player down, Sear, Ryan Sear who came back in the game. He's, several players have hit the floor tonight. Stop, stoppage in play here. As Sear is tended to by coach Bob Floyd and assistant coach Tim Dote. Ryan Martin coming out of the game. Lucas Levesque coming in. Fort Kent Warrior players on the court right now. We got Tyler Berthium, Lucas Levesque, John Lozier, Mike Pelletier, and Corey Thibodeau. The coaches are helping up. Ryan Sear, as he seems to have hurt his ankle, gets a nice round of applause from the Fort Kent and Madawaska fans here. <laughs> Ryan Sear played a heck of a game for Madawaska, kept him in there in the first half. They just, Madawaska really just played a bad third quarter. They kept up with Fort Kent in the fourth quarter. But the Fort Kent lead that the Warriors built up was just insurmountable. Bengals, with an, the Warriors, I did it again, the Warriors with an 18 point lead. Just a minute and 40 seconds left. The only starter left on the floor for Fort Kent, Corey Thibodeau. Madawaska with the ball. This is Mark Bard. Over now to Burgoyne. Turns around, shoots. No good, he's foul. I believe by Lucas Lave. Nope, that's Tyler Berthew. The last starter comes out. Nice round of applause for Corey Thibodeau. Into the game for Fort Kent. Jason Stett. Shot no good by Randy Burgoyne. He'll have one more. 77-59 Fort Kent. Randy's second shot. Good. 77-60 Warriors. John Lose over now to Tyler Berthium. Minute 21 left. Tyler over now to Jason Stett. Stett handing off to John Lozier. Lozier underneath. Mike Pelletier puts it up. No good. Jason Stett with the ball taken away from him by Madawaska's Mark Bard. 103 left in the ball game. Good 
Way to close the season for Fort Kent. Foul call. Another foul on Tyler Bertium. This one's going to put Mark Bard into the game. Coming out of the game for Metawaska, Ben Hassel had a good first half. They just were not able to get to him in the second half. No good. Fort Ken with the ball. Lucas Levesque over to John Lozier. John shoots a three. No good. Rebound Lucas. John with the ball underneath. No good. Mike Pelletier. Jump ball. Mike Pelletier fighting hard for the ball. And we get a jump call. Gets a nice hand. Look. John Lozier inbounds to Tyler Berthium. Berthium drives, blocked by Matawaska's Marshall. Drive by number 20, Nick Gagnon. Gagnon scores for the Owls and he's foul on Tyler Berthium. Three quick fouls on Tyler. <laughs> 77, 62, just 39 seconds left. It's been a pleasure filling in tonight for Dana and Christy Plord. And once again from the whole community and the entire Channel 4 audience, uh, wish to extend thanks to them for doing all these Warrior games. Mike Pelletier scores. Pelletier, a nice two-pointer. Puts Fort Kent up 79-63. Long shot, no good by Ed Marshall. Pelletier rebounds. John Lozier with it. 14 seconds left in the game. Long shot. Stick. Doesn't get it. Rebound. John. Up. No good. Nice. Marshall with the ball. And that will do it. As the Fort Kent Warriors end the season in Fort Kent. Their home season with a convincing 79 to 63 victory over the Madawaska Owls. And the Warriors are going to the tournament. So get ready for February 16 or 17 to travel to Bangor as the Warriors make another tournament appearance. This their third straight. We don't have any scoring for you, but uh, we hope you'd enjoyed this game. And for Robbie Desjardin, my photographer tonight, I'm Joel Desjardin signing off for WFKT-TV Channel 4. Thanks for watching.